Crazy Devil here, and I am back with another video. So, this game is called Cell Lab. I got it. Took my interest. So, you could start off with Tutorial 1, Tutorial 2, or the first one, Algae. And there are 48 levels. But, I'm going to start off with Tutorial 1 because I don't know how to play Welcome to Cell Lab. Two tutorials are provided and make you familiar with our lab equipment. Safety procedures will be taught another day. This first tutorial will teach you how to use our mic mic our microscope. Please start by moving to the microscope. microscope. Good job. What you see here is a Petri dish. Or Petra, I don't know how to pronounce it. Who cares? A Petri dish. We have prepared for you to zoom in. To z Sorry, I don't know why I just can't talk today. It's weird. But to zoom with this micro microscope, microscope, do an inverse pinch with two fingers. Please increase the magnif magnification by four. <laughs> Great. Now move this substrate so that we are looking at the brighter area at the top of the Petri dish, where sunlight is visible. Zoom so that this area covers the screen. Swipe with one finger to move your substrate. There's life forms. Look at that thing. Look at it. Just kidding. I see you have a mic. I see you have used a microscope before. This microscope is equipped with a micro manipulator. One of it uses is to insert cells from our genetics lab, genetics lab onto the substrate. Can you insert one of our Recently developed cells in the area with sunlight. Tap. Sorry. Tap where you want to insert cell. Not too hard. <clears throat> Our microscope also has a system for controlling the temperature of the substrate. Turn up the temperature to the observe setting where the cells live but move slowly the temperature setting is chosen by this selector in the top right observe. now you should see the cells manipulating otherwise insert a couple more in the bright area we want to incubate the substrate for a while so our cells Attain an equilibrium. Increase the temperature to the incubate settings. They disappeared. Now you should have a lot of cells. This makes it hard to keep track of them, but luckily the microscope has a visual tracker. The tracker overlays a marker on a selected cell and also moves the substrate to keep it in view. Set temperature to observe again and tap on a cell to tell the micro microscope to track it. Good. Sometimes we bring in cell, in cells from nature, or our noses to study. We can then extract the DNA using a micro, micro I don't know, to study it in the genome editor. Let's do that on one of the cells, on the substrate right away. Okay. We put a mutagen into in the substrate to so, so some cells should have mutated pick an interesting one and tell the tracker to follow it freeze the substrate before doing this oh 
No. Okay, so like, bam, bam, bam. No, 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 no. Freeze. Good job. Next step is to go to the genome editor. Tab genome and press load. Then choose load from microscope and the micropepity will automatically extract the DNA of the cell into the tracker sequence. It into the tracker sequence. Sequence it. And send it in di Digitized, I don't know, form to the genome editor. So, genome, uh, oh, I think I messed it up. Um, load. Great, now I have the genome of the mutated cell in the genome editor. Your last task is to sterilize the subten substance with the built-in autoclave to prepare for next experiment. This is done using the reset button. Good luck. Keep your fingers out of the autoclave. Reset. <clears throat> you have now completed the microscope training in program. Next up is the genome editor training program. Press the back arrow to exit this finish first tutorial. <clears throat> Welcome. This tutorial will guide you through how to use the genome editor. Please start by going to the genome editor lab. Genome. Good. What you see here is the genome editor. It is a divided in two parts, the preview window and the mo and the mode editor. We will start by introducing the preview me window. It, it shows your or organism at a certain age. The slider right below the preview is used to set at what age you would like to view your organism. Now set the preview to show your organism at age two hours okay um, I don't see any age Sorry about that. <clears throat> um, Holy God! Oh my God! <laughs> so many! Good job! That is all we need to know about the preview from now. Now, now some genetics. All cells in the human body have the same DNA, but muscle and brain cells behave very differently. This is referred to a different modes of cell in our lab. The genome editor can handle 20 different modes. 
Each mode has its own properties. One mode is edited at a time in the genome editor and to change what mode is currently being edited. We use the select edit mode. Now let's edit mode called M5. Now guys, I'm going to be right back because my door is closed and I need to turn on my phone. So, I'll be back in a sec. Told you, I'm back. <clears throat> Okay, let's change it to M5. Child 1, M5. Child 2, M5. That's what it wanted. Didn't it? Oh. Oh no. Mode M5. Now all properties you see below the selector selector you just use desubscribe properties of mode M5. You might wonder what modes what modes are the cells in the preview in? They are in mode M1 because M1 is by default the initial mode. What mode is initial just tells the preview what about to start with. Now make M5 initial instead by pressing the radio button initial. Okay. Um. Oh no. Is this uh, uh, Oh, initial. Nice work. There are a lot of different properties in each mode. More than we can go through in this tutorial. This means we will have to explore them yourself. If you want more information about any setting in the genome editor, just click on the accompanying text with an underscore. Now read the text about the property. Red color, you might have to scroll down to see it. Ooh, that's scary. Now read the text about the property. Red color. You might have to scroll down to see it. Hold on a second. Okay, guys. I am back. No. I'm going to move this thing right over there. And so, what do we need to do? I'm going red color. There we go. Good job. Now find two more properties and make your mode M5 cells completely red. Completely red. Very beautiful. If you drag the previous time slider back and forth, you see your cells dividing many settings controls. The division take place. Two important settings are what modes the two daughter cells are in. These settings are labeled child 1 mode and child 2 mode. Set them so that when a mode f M5 cell splits, child 1 is mode 6 or child 1 is mode is of mode 6 or M6, mode M6. Child 2 is of mode M7. Okay. So, child 1 to M6 M7 Good job. You should see two different cells. One is M6 and one is M7. Increase the preview preview time to 4 hours to see what the cell split into. Whoa. Oh. 
It's not four hours. Good job. You should see it. Four cells. Two modes. Mo two mode M6 on the left and two in M mode M7 on the right. The family three it looks like time 0, 0.0 hours, time 2.0 hours, and time 4.0 hours. Now change the family three wait, change the family tree into by sending the child one mode M5 and child two M mode M5 of mode M6 and mode M7. Tip, instead of changing the selector edit mode, you can tap on cells in the preview to change the what mode edit. What? Okay, so do I go like tap these two or something, which is mode two? Mode f five. Mode five. <laughs> what the heck do I do? Just change this back. Mode six. Mode seven. Seven. Oh my god, I'm, I'm messing everything up. You supposed to be mode seven? No, six. Mode seven. Oh my god. What? I just want to go like this. Go into the microscope. Go like this. I just messed everything up. No. Look at my little cells. it to incubate I'm creating life as we know it. Watch them just bloop, bloop. It would take so much time complete this. Neverwinter is a really fun game. <clears throat> One of my friends is giving me a Shadow Wolf. I am a level 20. Not that far, but I'm doing good. I want this whole area to be spotted.
I just want to spread all my people all over the place. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go so close to this thing right here. See how close we can get to this thing right Just gonna I am going to change all no oh, stop that of this stuff mirror mirror on the wall. Done. Microscope. I am going to be the master. What would happen if I go on incubate on this thing? No! If I go on freeze, it doesn't even shrink. Well, it does, but very sh doesn't shrink just like that. It's spreading. If I just do it in this one spot, it would eventually push the rest out. Probably. No. Just zoom out. Tap like crazy. Yeah, yeah. We need to observe. Look at all those just splunk. Okay, let's turn it back to freeze. Watch it all just splunk. So what do I do? Good job. How am I gonna do that? Well, I am gonna come back to you guys when I finish that tutorial. Or when I get back to the spot. Okay? Catch back this. Okay, guys, I am back and I moved my orb because I every time I get out and I tried to play it again, like go like this, it would exit out. But, anyways, let's go back. Challenge not complete. Easy. Unlock Gene. 
Fagatite and further challenges. Okay. <clears throat> Challenge not yet completed. Inserted cells, 0 out of 10. Your cells, 0 out of 100. Use the genome editor to make species that thrive in the environment of this challenge. When ready, put a cell on this substrate under the microscope and unfreeze it to see if it is viable. 100 cells are needed to complete this challenge. Hint, wank, wank. The default cell will surface for the challenge, and cells need energy and the photo available in this challenge get energy from sunlight. Sunlight is incident on the bright area of the top of this subject. Okay guys, let's get into it. Okay, let me just move this. Sorry guys, I accidentally did that. I tried to move it a little bit up more. So we know that we gotta move it at the top, right here. And when it's on freeze, you go here, change it to observe. It should split. Like like so. If I go back here. I have 33. What if I just go like bam, 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 bam. Okay, 82, didn't need to do anything. Breed, my little guys, breed. Oh, they're dying. Oh, no, they're not. Challenge completed. Can I put any more? No, okay. There we go. Okay. Two algae number two. Challenge not yet completed. Insert cells zero out of ten. My cells one hundred fifty. This time the objective is to make a species that can multiply to at least one hundred fifty cells on the same substrate as the previous challenge. This challenge. And may others are not required to proceed in the game. You can solve it at a later point if you find it hard at the moment. Okay. Can I just, like... If I go like that, go to microscope. If I be like, pow, 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 pow. There we go. And pow, observe. Bam. Bam. Do they go down though once they reach the little bubbles? I don't think I'm gonna make it. Actually, I may make it. <laughs> A lot of them are going. I should I should have split them up more because as they break up, they need to be in the sunlight to grow. So, like this one over here, right there, like that one, it's gonna be hard for it. To split it up again. Therefore, I should have split it and put it like one up here, one down here, one there, one there, and then so on. I think we're going to do this one. Oh no! It do go down. It just went up to 120 and then... Yeah, see? I'm not going to do this one. Oh, wait. We made it up to 30. 130. Can it bring it back up to 150? 
Okay, let's reset that. So what I was saying is like, put one up there, put one over here. Oh, oh, reset. Stick it on freeze. One there. No, 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 no. Reset. One there. 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 So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now let's change this to observe. Oh, that was a fail. Failure. I need to go like one, two. Reset. I need to put it back on for No, 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 no. Incubate. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> Watch this. Oh my god, is this gonna work? <laughs> That'll be hilarious. Let's reset it. Turn it to freeze. Let's go like this. Watch it just explode. So one here, one there, one there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Zoom out. Incubate. I'm incubating that crap. thing is you can't let it really get out in the middle otherwise it'll go to the little dust thingies did I fail I don't think I failed That is impossible. Reset. Freeze. We are not going to make it. It's already having trouble at 100. Like, how are we going to do this? Let's just make it like that.
Just save it. Load it. <laughs> That's a freaking player. Yeah, I, I I can't do it. I, I tried. I'm sorry, guys. We'll go back to it. It's, it said we could change. Let's go to the third one. Oh, uh, insert five cells to get onto it. This substrate has a much lower viscosity than the previous ones. Can you design a species that survives this? Hint. Useful property in the genome editor is make adhesin. Make adhesin. Okay, save this. Is it pink now? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, oh yeah, only five. Observe. They're bouncy. And they stick. Oh no, let's reset that one. Let's restart it. One, two, three, four, five, five. <laughs> it's so funny, they just bloop. Bloop, 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 just squiggity squalling. Bloop, 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 bloop. Bloop, 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 bloop. Bloop, bloop. And bloop, bloop. Ooh, this, these guys right up there getting right into it. But that, those guys down there. There's ones over here that are failing. Right over there. But man, look at all those. Just bloop, 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 boop. Growing like freaking crazy. Come on, get to 120. Bloop, bloop. Ooh, look at that top one. Oh, we're losing them. We're losing it. Because the stupid bottom one. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I think they should have a little more light. Dang. Look at that thing. I'm gonna just watch from in here. Oh man, we're shrinking. You know what? Incubate! Bloop 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 Oh my god It worked We did it Woohoo
we did tutorial one, we couldn't do two. this video here please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed and thanks for watching and goodbye